What is up nerds, Cloud here with the Honkai Star Rail video. And in today's video is gonna be kind of a short one. I really wanted to use this as a timestamp rather than a specific guide for the Star Hunt event. The event is broken down into two different parts. It'll take you about an hour, hour and a half, depending on if you pay attention to the story, both for the story mode and the arcade mode. You can still complete the companion mission once the event ends. This just allows Silver Wolf to be accessible throughout Herta Space Station and on the Star Rail as well. But the Star Hunt game will not be accessible once the event ends. So story mode specifically dives into the hacker expert Silver Wolf. We get to meet another character named Skrullum, who is a colleague of Herda, it seems. Without spoiling too much, we battle in the simulated universe against Silver Wolf to protect a special item before she steals it. As the name implies, the story mode is a story-driven hide-and-seek with graffiti. Not sure if the graffiti is going to be a permanent feature once you have them. I couldn't find anything that says will be permanent. It just says during the event of Star Hunt. But the intent is that as you go through a story, you're finding these cool graffitis that you can use to take photos, selfies, or cause havoc by graffitiing it up like Miles Morales. Okay, now we do a switchy switchy. What? Get back here. Where do you think you're going? He's on the bagel. All right, time to swing, just like I talked. Completing this story mode will unlock the light cone before the tutorial mission starts, which is a great nihility light cone that you can put on Silver Wolf. Either before or during, you can also take advantage of the arcade challenge, which is three different events kind of packed into one little event. So one is another hide and seek that you perform. Another one is a take a photo by pressing F next to the character. It took your boy a minute to figure out it wasn't just take a photo of it. And then short battles by Leonard. These events are pretty self-explanatory. There's nothing huge about them that's incredibly mysterious. You could just click on the map on where to go. Even the smile icon show you where to go. And doing the arcade challenge gives you access to currency for superimposing the four-star light cone that you got for completing story mode, tracks of destiny, uh, currency, and mats. Between the two events, you only get enough star jade for access to three single pulls. However, the four-star light cone can be superimposed. And if you're a free-to-play player, that light cone that you get on any Nihility character could be a permanent feature for them. And when I say that you could superimpose the light cone that you get from the story mode event, you get that by using the currency inside the store, which once you complete the story mode and all of the missions in the arcade mode, you have enough in-game currency to be able to get every single item from the store. Getting your light cone all the way up to max superimpose 5. Overall, I liked the event. It was broken down into two different categories, so we got to focus on a lot more story. The first event that we got was that ring fighting one, which had no bearing on the story, had no extra characters. We didn't fight against anything unique. This event, however, brings us into a story realm for a character that just came out for that exact banner. Another thing about this event is that it's not time gated. So you can complete from start to finish in one sitting. Some people might view it as controversial because you wait 20 days for an event to come out and then once it releases, you can complete it in two hours. Or do you want the event that you can complete in 10 minutes, but you have to wait a week to finish because it's time gated. I don't think the community will ever like one more than the other. I think it'll just always be a constant battle of preference but i will say i do appreciate not being time gated because i want to play the game as much as i can and as long as i can one of the biggest problems in the game right now is the resource management specifically with energy overall like i said this is a much better event than the first one that we got it's way more memorable it's more on the nose of what's going on within the game Again, not the longest video in the world. I just kind of wanted to go over my thoughts about it. Uh, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about the event and was it good? And as always, you are valued and appreciated. And let me leave you with the most funny 